In this quick lesson, we'll be discussing factorial notation. And if you're confused, it's that exclamation button found on your calculator. Let's start with a bit of theory. If n is a positive integer, and an integer is a whole number that's either negative or positive, the notation n factorial is the product of all positive integers from n down through 1. Algebraically, that's represented as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way to 1. 0 factorial by definition is equal to 1. So if you ever see 0 factorial, that's like saying 1. Just to give you a clearer understanding before we start, let's say you have 5 factorial. That's the same thing as saying 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. The question reads, simplify without using your calculator. We have 8 factorial over 5 factorial. So what I'll do is expand the top. I have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. And I'll stop right there. I'll write this down as factorial. And at the bottom I have 5 factorial. So what I can do, instead of expanding 5 into 5 times 4 times 3 as shown here, I can cancel out this 5 factorial with this, and I end up with 8 times 7 times 6. And that's what they mean by not using your calculator, meaning that they don't want you to write down 8 factorial or 5 factorial and get the answer. Instead, they want 8 times 7 times 6, which you can now use your calculator. 56 times 6 is equal to 336. Let's move on to B. This time we have 26 factorial over 21. Once again, I'll use the same method as before. 26 times 25 times 24, 23, 22, and I'll stop at 21 factorial. And this 21 factorial will cancel out with the bottom one. And now we multiply 26 all the way through 22. 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 gives us a total of approximately 7.8 million. In question C, we have 500 factorial over 499. So I'll do my work here. 500 times 499. I'll stop right there. The 499 at the bottom and the top cancel out, leaving us with only 500, and that's our answer. The last example is a little interesting. In fact, we have n plus 4 in brackets and factorial. I want to discuss what to do if you run into a situation like this. If you do run into a situation like this, you'll write down n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1. And subtracting 1 from 1, you end up with 0. So you'll write down n factorial at the very end. And if we had, let's say, a factor 2 in front of the n, it would be the same thing. You'd put that factor 2 until you reach the end, which is 2n. Now let's expand on this idea and do a few more factorial examples with variables. In question E, we have n plus 3 in brackets factorial over n minus 1 factorial. I'll focus on the top part, n plus 3 factorial is the same thing as saying n plus 3, n plus 2, notice I'm subtracting 1 from 3, n plus 1 times n, and we'll continue with n minus 1. I'll stop at that. I'll put a factorial all over the bottom, n minus 1 factorial. Notice now that this expression and this expression cancel out, leaving us with everything that you see in the denominator. And that's the answer to question E. Now let's move on to question F. Here we have n factorial and n minus 1 factorial at the bottom. n plus 1 stays the way it is. n factorial becomes n times n minus 1 factorial. This will cancel out with the expression in the denominator, leaving us with n plus 1 times n. And if you expand this, n squared plus n. Finally, in question g, we have 2n in brackets factorial over 2. That's the same thing as saying 2n times 2n minus 1 factorial. Notice that this 2 and this 2 cancel out. And your final answer is n times 2n minus 1 factorial. And there you have it. Seven examples on how to deal with factorial and factorial notation.